like during the stream, after I've closed down the stream, I noticed that there are quite a few intersections here and there and quite a few discrepancies that I can't really easily control. Uh, so offsetting, I believe, was a mistake. So instead, what I'm going to do is I will just take just the outer shell and I'll try to build it up, build the interior up from what I have here without trying to automate it. This will give me much more control. And I'm going to start from, well, probably the the ground, right? The, the, the floor slab. Probably if I select the whole ground plane here, or, or, or the bottom of my floor slab, I do want to inset all of these polygons by, um, let's do 300 millimeters like that, hit enter. So we need to fix that part. Can't offset one open curve. That's nice. There we go. Okay, so that that works. That works well. Uh, so now I can just grab this vertice and kind of just push vertices around until I get a pretty clean topology. So this is all good. This is not good. So let's kind of take it and put it in there. I will take it and I will extract surface. Um, and I'll just copy it upwards by 300 mil. Basically now what we have is these two planes, one in the bottom, one in the top. I made this floor slab, right? Uh, the top of the floor slab. Now we can continue working with it. So I'm just going to select the whole perimeter by control shift double clicking on the edge and I'll just extrude it up like that. Move, enter, vertical, enter, V, enter and I'll just move it down so that it matches up. So now I have the whole perimeter and I can kind of kind of work with it. So this bad boy right here, we need to do something about it. Bridge, uh, but this is what we get. And there is like intersections and whatnot. We will be solving those in just a second. But for now, the way this works is fine with me. I'm just thinking if it's time to actually solve this connection, let's let's do it. We can always come back in and delete it if, if it doesn't work. So I'm bridging it in pairs and not all at the same time, just because I want to be mindful of which parts I'm, I'm bridging and which parts are uh, I'm not. So I'm always checking where the edges end. Okay, so we have this bottom part done. Now let's let's fix this part right here. So at the top, we will also need to deal with, within the ceiling, we will also need to deal with the same problem. So our approach, the same approach that we had for the floor will need to be implemented for the ceiling. And also there is, um, there is a gap here uh, that will need to be filled. I think we start by selecting the ceiling part. What about it? <laughs> what about it? <laughs> well, let's start with the simple stuff, right? Uh, here it's just going to be, well, all of it is going to be an extrusion downwards. Yeah, all of it is going to be an extrusion downwards. Okay. We have a working ceiling at least on one portion of, of, of the building. Let's bring this down to the um, to the window level. Let's try and bridge these two together. Okay, that's not too bad. That, that kind of works. Of course, this will need an additional extrusion. That's fine. We will fix it. For now, I'm kind of focusing on this area right here and I want to fix it. Uh, so we have this opening here. That's nice. I think it works. Bam. Now this is clean. This is clean and it has thickness. Noise. Oh yeah, we will need some more love, some more work here uh, to make this actually work nicely. But at least like this, this area right here is now, now finished. So next, ooh, we have this area right here. So that's, this is easy, bridge. And I think, no, it's fine. It, 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 it works. It's, it's blending in quite nicely. Now it's just this portion right here. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We have an opening for our staircase. Okay, let's take a, let's take a gander. Okay, that is kind of sexy. Ooh. So, we have the first floor done let's do the second floor and we will be ready for the next stream then
this is as good of a of a start as any these two uh these two faces here we extract surface we move it up or copy it up by 300 mil so here we can have a pathway that's nice oh that's <laughs> oh god damn it this is difficult so this gets extruded How do we deal with the ceiling? Of course, we will need to deal with the ceiling. Did you think it's going to be this easy? No, it's not. Of course not. Ceiling? Ceiling. We're working with the ceiling. We do the same procedure, huh? Duplicate these two edges, offset. Closed sub D, we are golden. We sweet. We are golden. Visually, not much has changed. I have reduced the complexity on the interior. That's fine. We will bring back the complexity quite easily. But now everything has thickness. See that? Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Do we extend like like we did the extension here? Here we will have a problem. Or maybe we can be cheeky. What if we are cheeky? Let's be cheeky. We are doing it. We're using topology to our advantage. Okay, so we have this. I don't like the the hat. The, this part I don't like. The bottom part I think is pretty pretty cool. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I think the bottom part is pretty cool. I don't like the top part, so I'll need to fix those. And maybe it's ex extending a little bit too much. Something like this, maybe. Okay, we're, we're good. I, I caught them all, I think. We're pushing these back in. We're taking a look. Holy crap, this... It doesn't like the rectangle. Okay, sure. We will not use a rectangle then. We will use a triangle instead. Okay, so this is starting to look a little bit better. Okay, so that works. That works. We check with EMAP. Yeah, that looks nice. And what about here? That also looks nice. That's good. Yeah. That's a nice surface. That is a nice continuous surface. So what kind of windows do I want to add? Um, Everything that I've been doing so far is super blobby. So I'm thinking maybe our window should be kind of more hard surface stuff. So maybe I'll use NURBS. I'm thinking about creating a... Okay, let's let's do it this way. That's one way to do it, I guess. Uh, if I create a clipping plane... Well, uh, not clipping plane, sorry. Uh, surface or a plane. I create a plane and it can be a pretty big one. And I move it inside of my window hole something like that then what i can do find intersection between the nerves oh, sorry between the sub d and my surface bam uh, then if i isolate this you can see that well this is unnecessary but it found the intersection here and god damn that's a lot of points maybe we can let me do something stupid let me create a bounding box a single curve and I will divide that curve into four points and I'll draw out a single line that's vertically going upwards. Where are we? There we go. Like that. I'll just take that line and copy. I'll just make two copies of it, push them down. Bada bing, bada boom. We have our divisions. So what, you might ask? Well... So I'm not using, um, like I'm not interpolating the curve, I'm not rebuilding the curves to make them softer, I'm filleting just to, to get a little bit kind of crisper look. Um, how thick are glass uh, plates? 25? No, that's definitely less. Let's do like a 10 centimeter single pane. Pane? What? Let's do 10 millimeters single single sheet glass okay 
we have this going on. I think that's gonna look nice. Uh, we do... This is how it's gonna look like from the outside. LCRV, hide... Yeah, I think we can work with this, right? Ooh, uh, one, one question. How does this look when we move it out a bit more? But this looks nice. I'll just duplicate this edge here because it's a bending window and we, we will need to work with this a little bit in a little bit different way as to how we work with the planner windows. Okay, how the hell do we work with this one though? I need to create a window from this one. Uh, let's zoom into it. So you're not planner. That's the first boo-boo. Can we offset you? We can, but it's going to be a shit show. We can't extrude this. We can't offset this. Uh, we can, though. What if I copy this to the side by 300 millimeters, something like that. And then we just mess around with the control points. So that goes back. Now we have a pretty good idea of how this is going to look like. So that means we can loft these two, right? We can loft these and create a ribbon like that. Okay, let's offset SRF. Let's offset the surface inwards by 75, right? So we have this. Um, let's, let's make it bend outwards. So I'm gonna draw this line here. I will rebuild that line to have four points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll grab the middle two and I'll just move it out. Just like that. We patch this and this now. 10 by 10, sure, preview. Now it's bulging outwards. I will call this good. And we just offset surface. Okay, show. That's what we have. I'm happy with it. With how this is turning out. Uh, but we do need to check it with Arctic View though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's looking nice. Wait. Most of these can be described as edge surfaces, right? Let's YOLO it. Uh, we explode. Okay, so we have this going now. Let us take this and explode it. Uh, so now we have these three planes, which means that I can work with them individually. Now we're cooking. Now we are indeed cooking. We offset surface both sides solid yes distance 250 and we get a ribbon as easy as that well this took a while now we have we have enclosure it's sticking out just like i wanted to it, it has layering just like i wanted to and we are we are getting there. Let's do a little bit of a render. Just a tiny bit. Uh, very, very bright. Very, 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 very bright. Actually, maybe that's gonna work. 0.01. Other way around. Zoom in. A little bit thicker. 0.03. Okay, that, that might actually work.